Hello everyone, welcome back to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. I'm laughing because I'm saying welcome back, but honestly, who wants to be here? I don't even want to be here. I mean, I do, but, you know, it's horrifying. Isn't it weird how... What it is about? What is it about horror? Like, why do I want to subject myself to an incredibly unpleasant experience? I don't know, but I do. I really want to be here, and I also really don't at the same time. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I've learned a couple things, which I shall now present to you. Okay, I mentioned after I read this note, Edwin and Enoch's... En it is pronounced Enoch, right? Yeah, Enoch. Edwin and Enoch's diary. Uh, this part. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing, and hit it with a rolling pin. Later, we crept downstairs... Uh, yeah, crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. Was it... Oh my god, I can't talk. We crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. Uh, I mentioned that this note reminded me of the DLC that came out for Amnesia, which I think I called Christine or something like that, because I couldn't remember the name. It's actually Justine. Christine, Justine. Who cares? They both end in Een. It's close enough. Anyway, I found the note that reminded me of Justine. So this is from Justine. Today I played outside with Clarice. We saw a bird pick at a snail. It carried it off and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and it cracked. Clarice cried and I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scalded Clarice for playing with me. The bird took off into the air. Okay, so you can see why I might form some sort of connection because like, this one's about the nanny and a bird, and this the one from Justine is about a bird and the maid. So, that's what kind of jogged my memory and got me thinking about it. However, I don't think there's any connection, because this one has to... The one in the game, this game, uh, was f f hit it with a rolling pin, right? A bird with a broken wing, and the one from Justine has nothing to do with the bird being hurt. It just flew off and it was fine. And also, plus, Justine takes place about 40 years before... The date of this note, 1899. So, yeah, I don't think they're connected. So, let's toss that out. Nope. A couple other things I've learned. I was mentioning that I think there might be some sort of a connection to uh, the Black Plague, based on all of the rats that I've seen. Like, eaten rats, and then one of the notes was talking about the plague. But I couldn't remember when the plague actually took place. Well, a couple things. One, I was thinking of the wrong thing. It's not the Black Plague, it's the Bubonic Plague. Those are different things, aren't they? I think so. I hope they are. <laughs> I'm so good with history, as you can tell. So yes, I was thinking of the Bubonic Plague, and... No. The Bubonic Plague took place way, way, way before this. So, no. No connection. Although, it, that's not to say the dead rats and the talk of the plague isn't meant to maybe make you think of that. Kind of gets you thinking about sickness and death. But it definitely isn't actually taking place in that time period, so... No. Also, the River Thames is pronounced Thames, not Thames. And Cretan is pronounced Cretan, not Cretan. And Enoch is pronounced Enoch, not Enoch. Now let's see if I can remember all of that. Huh, yeah, yeah, right. I'm gonna forget at the very next note I read. And this time, let me not forget to turn off my light. There we go. Okay. Let me get my loud chair back into place. Okay. It's dark. And I don't want to be down here. Let's continue. Oh, right. The science -y place. It's like a doctor's chair. And whatever those lights... Whatever these lights are... Do these lights have a specific name? The kind of lights you see at, like, the dentist that they use to aim at you. But, like, is there a specific name for those lights, or are they just a light? Like a doctor's light or something? I don't know. What is that noise? What the hell? There's a noise, like, right here. Hmm. Oh, more teeth. Oh, 
Looks like various chemicals. July 15th, 1899. In order to facilitate assimilation of tissue groups, a compound is required, or the cells will not bond. Disposal of non-bonded subjects must be immediate, and using incineration or re-risk continuous animation without form. This is unpleasant. A simple compound of one part Brennenberg infusion vitae to one part organ monodispural fluid is sufficient. This can then be administered intravenously to subjects following reassembly to maintain bonding. The compound is unstable and highly light reactive. Once in the body, the Schumann lamp can be used to activate the compound. But outside the body is highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal. Wait a minute, hold on, there's a lot to take in here. And I'm going to need this information very soon, I think. Assimilation of tissue groups. Alright, so this is about bonding tissue together. Non-bonded subjects must be immediately disposed of, or risk continuous animation without form. It's unpleasant. Well, what does continue, continuous animation without form look like? That sounds disturbing. Okay, so I need to combine something. I I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do this. But why? What, what is this for? What am I going to need it for? You can administer it intravenously, but, I mean... Am I going to be administering it to myself? And if I did, why? What would that do? Uh, following a reassembly to maintain bonding, right. So, like, you put a bunch of parts together and then you in, uh, administer that to keep them together. Keep them bonded. The Schumann lamp, which I'm assuming is a thing over the chair. I guess it has a name. Schumann lamp. However, outside the body, it's highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal, so I might need to use it to burn through something. Well, either way, I can't do anything with it until I actually have it. So for now, I don't need to worry. <laughs> you can even swivel these little arm things. Very cool. Oh my god, you can even move the leather strap? Wait a minute, am I... Am I gonna be carrying someone here? And strapping them and... Injecting them? Am I going to be assembling someone? No, no, where is it? Journal? No. Where's that note? No. Is this the newest? Yeah, here we go, okay. To subjects following reassembly. Am I gonna be assembling something? I oh god. I have the sinking feeling that I am. Maintenance access. There's clearly another passage beyond the locked gates. It seems I have a choice of approach. The padlock is old but firm, and after that fall, I cannot summon the strength to break it open. Perhaps I can find another way. Another passage beyond the locked gates. Uh, I have a, chan a choice of approach. Okay, well, obviously I can use that compound, which is highly corrosive, to eat through it. But I need to find it first. Ew. It's a frog that's been dissected. Oh! I connect it to a battery. To stimulate the nerves, I guess. That is disgusting. This may very well be the most fun physics object I've ever played with in Amnesia. Look at the way it moves! All those joints! Oh, that's weird. It goes back. That is very strange that it goes back like that. 
come with me. No, come back. All right, let's go find some chemicals. I mean, there's chemicals up here, but I guess they're not the ones I need. I need the Brennenberg... What is it? Brennenberg Infusion Vitae and one part or Organ? 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 Monad Dispurl. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know. We'll see. Well, at least this place is clean. There's no cages, there's no smears of blood. That's something. It's not as horrifying as some of the other places I've been, and that's that model again. The thing that I presume he visited in the jungle. Can I grab those glasses? No. Note. Centrifuge is some form of bizarre mixing device for chemical compounds, and it positively reeks of the foul fluids I have seen too often before. It is clearly a compound, some volatile bastard of two composite ingredients. I should wager I would find them close by. Okay, excellent. Hmm. Which way am I gonna go? Oh my fucking god. No, 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 no. Holding pens. Holding pens. Holding pens. Low temperature storage, yes. I am going to go to low temperature storage. I am not going to the holding pens. Low temperature storage. Did I hallucinate that? It was standing up to walk. I think I hallucinated that. I, I hope I hallucinated that. Hmm. Low temperature storage. Alright, so this place is kept cool. Although the fact that it doesn't have a door to seal it off uh, is, is highly inefficient. Cold. I can I can almost feel the cold. Is this Is this Great Big Barrel one of the ingredients? It's like a dispenser. Before I do that though, I want to figure out what this is. A warning. Inflamed it is. Burning it does. Bleeding from each hole, fore and aft. Leaking down my legs. Blood and excrement. My lungs are in my vomit. I pass clots of my organs now onto the filthy stone. Drink this, he says, and I did drink it. I did do that. Because of the changes. They ripple inner me. My teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them all. Gathered what I can. Push them back into my gray gums with my fingers, but the nails are all weepy and falling out. Drink it, he says. It'll help the running of the fever. Because not not us all can take the change on the other table. Oh, on the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that. But he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket, and I heard it drink. Dear God Al Almighty, how can a man shit so much blood and still live? Ugh. What the hell? So...
I, I think this is written by one of them. Shortly after being reassembled. Oh god, that is disgusting. I'm just thinking of the tortured existence that these things live. Ugh. All right, that's one of them, I think. Oh yeah, you can use the scroll wheel to move it in and out. I forgot about that. Huh, well, I've got a backup. Now, what is this? What the hell was that? Is this like a suction tube or what? It sounds like it's trying to do something, but it's not able to do it. I mean, that's oh, 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 that's inside. I was, I was looking at that wrong. I didn't realize I was inside. Okay, that'll send it to the main chamber. Okay. You know what, for good measure, let's send another one. Why not? Never mind, I can't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. This is different. Th this isn't the same. There wasn't a door there. I came from this way. I came from either straight or I came from the right side. I didn't go from come from the left. What the hell? Did I? I don't no, I don't think I did. I can't quite remember. Oh god, I don't like that, I don't like that. When it flickers, it makes me think there's one of them nearby. Oh god. Oh shit! Oh my fucking god, it's- oh. <laughs> Open! Dear god, open! Oh. It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. To stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vitae and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. <sighs> ah. Highly corrosive. Good, good, it's locked. I want it to be locked. <sighs> okay, um... Do I need both? F uh, for it to be... Uh, corrosive. Yeah, you need both. Highly light reactive. Okay, yeah, you need both. Shit. You know what that means. Wait, why does this thing have three? Maybe you don't need to use them all. I don't know. Now, wait a minute. If I got to low temperature storage by going this way, but the only way out w led me there, then what if I go this way again? See? Look! Okay. 
Okay. To the holding pens. Silence. Do not startle or upset the acquisitions. I don't know what's more disturbing. That they're called acquisitions? Or that I need to be quiet? <laughs> I can't see inside them. There could be anything inside of them. some potatoes, I think. No button to operate this thing. Yep. Teddy bear. Nothing particularly creepy about it on its own, but just the fact that it's down here with the... the acquisitions is disturbing. It's like there's a pile of rotting clothes with flies just buzzing about. <laughs> that's screaming in the distance. Uh, August 20th, 1899. Took delivery of another batch of imbeciles today. They are the sorriest specimens of humanity I have ever seen. No one asks where they go. The authorities of Bedlam are simply happy to reduce the overcrowding of their teeming, stinking halls. We measure their skulls, check their teeth. We give them laudanum to pacify them. They wait in line. Livestock, dull brown eyes and filthy skin. Many soil themselves as they wait. Into the manipulator, they file in silence. I hear the hissing of gas. I hear the dull groaning as teeth are removed. As bones are reset. I hear the pigs screaming. We have removed all the mirrors. After the process, it is their reflections that trouble them the most. Afterwards, when they sleep, I walk amongst them. My children. I whisper to their dreams. You are my children now. I have children once again, and your forms imperfect will be the engines to make my own blood flow again. Oh my god. You are my children now. I have children once again. He's looking- I'm looking for my children. Right now. Here he's saying I have children once again. I'm pretty sure his children either are dead or have died and have been resurrected somehow. These monstrosities that he's been creating are his children. The authorities of Bedlam are ha simply happy to reduce the overcrowding in their teeming, stinking halls. 
They've just been taking prisoners, haven't they? Just prisoners. People no one cares about. After the process, it is their reflections that trouble them the most. <laughs> oh, God. Mm, 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 mm. I really don't like that flickering. I really, really don't like it. Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? Who gives a damn what it contains? Just set it down carefully and leave me be. Hmm. It sounded like he was talking to someone delivering something, maybe a servant. A gust of wind. Whoa. It blew shut that door and opened this one. Oh, hold on, I'm not going down there yet. Let me guess, this is locked now. Yep. <laughs> it's coming, I think. Where did it go? Where did it go? I'm not shining my light. No. You sound. You sound. Here, listen. Fuck. I can barely see anything, but I can see a little bit. A little bit. Okay, there's a hallway. Ah, that damn water, it's so loud. Ooh, a window. Okay, I think I need to go that direction. Not taking out my light, not yet. Okay. I think I can take it out here. Ah. Is that an elevator or a cage? Or both? Well, it really comes as no surprise that that's sabotaged. I was already planning on corroding the door to get through it, or corroding the padlock. Okay, I think it's gone for now. Oh, hello, Gears. I remember you from the original Amnesia the Dark Descent. I remember collecting you and using you for puzzles. Good times, good times. Freaking fed rats. Sounds like the stairs are coming apart as I walk on them. Ooh. 
It must be nearby. Oh, actually, is that it right there? I, yeah, it is. Hold on, before I send it. Okay, I'm still not underground yet. Just how hot is that steam? I don't think I can go there. Let me... No, 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 no. I didn't think so. Oh god. Oh no, no, no. Okay, the effect of that was kind of ruined by the fact that the running animation kind of bugged out, I guess, because I didn't trigger it properly, because I leaned over instead of actually walking over. Whoops. Hi. So nice to see you, my friend. My child. What is up with this vent? It's like oil. Like black oil goop. Grease something. It's just been smeared throughout. Well, that's a good sign. A teddy bear and a bunch of blood. Here, let me put you... There we go. No, no, no. Hold on. There you go. Out of the blood. August 4th, 1898. Oh, 1898. This is a, a year previous to many of the other notes I've been reading. More experiments with Compound X. Took the dog and injected it with Strike... Canine? Strike 9? After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. Jesus. Oh, fuck. I immersed the body in a large tank of Compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil... For a period of three and a half minutes, a partial return was induced. However, damage incurred prior to death was retained upon arrival, meaning the dog continued in the acute state of... A st st strychnine? I don't know. Poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull. But drowning? Perhaps, yes. It is after all known to be the kindest of suicides. If one were to drown, replacing the fluid in the lungs with compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. That is sick. That is seriously sick. Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that is me. I'm pretty sure I am that person, right? Like, 99% sure that's who I am? And didn't he lose his wife? Lily was her name? And it sounds like he lost his children as well. He's obsessed with bringing them back. He's absolutely and completely obsessed with revival. And it sounds like he would do absolutely anything to test it. No matter how sick. Oh, I'm back here. Wait a minute, where did I just come from? 
I literally don't even know where I just came from. Did I just... I, I don't remember. Did I just come up the stairs? Like, what? Uh... Wait, now I can go through here. Wait, what is... What is happening? I can go back up the way I originally came from by going there, but what's here? Oh, it's a secret pathway back to the main chamber. Alright, it's got a third thing here, but uh, apparently I don't need it. Oh, oh no, that's where it gets... Uh, that's where the output goes. I didn't realize there's an empty canister there. That is actually very comforting. Now I should be safe. Right? And the door that was here is gone now. Alright, let's make sure not to break it. Nice and gentle. A heady brew. I have the compound. It hisses and steams in its container like some living thing. A witch's jelly to burn and corrode. The container is made from glass. A strange choice, unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with the so-called Compound X. I should investigate further for clues. Oh, no need, I already know. Because it corrodes metal. Whoops, oh god. <laughs> Don't want to break it. Let's go put its corrosive properties to use. Now that's malfunctioning. Wonderful. Okay. Time for some light. That is very cool. There's something really satisfying about that puzzle. Oh god, I have to fall. There's no ladder. Mm. It looks like there's a little bit of hay down there, which should kind of break my fall. It doesn't look pleasant, though. That looks like a good 12 feet, maybe. Ah, <sighs> Deeper. I think we might be underground now. This leaking world. The bottle of gin was empty. Sleep seemed impossible. Above the skyline of London, he could only see the temple rising into the smog. Uh, into the... Smog. Oh, smog. For some reason, I looked like a U. I was going to read it as smug, but that didn't make any sense. Smog. Ouch. That doesn't sound good. Oh my god, what is this? Am I in the sewers? Bones. A filthy, rotting place. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. <laughs> God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. 
Oh god. This place is partially powered by excrement. It's run by shit. The flooded tunnels. My mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped, ready for gambrolling and evisceration. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the work workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature which controls operations of the processing of product through the, throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality, and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution, the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels. Draw heat using the principles of convection, regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. Efficient. Very efficient, sounds like a good design. Well, whoever or whatever group of people designed this, I, did I design this? I don't know. Whoever designed it, they did a good job. Oh my god, I can't even... What the hell is that? What the hell was... What was that? It looked like little electrical charges were exploding in the water. Well, I don't even know what this water, whatever the hell that is. Sewage water? This is seriously reminding me of the water monster. And that is not a thing I want to be reminded of, because that was probably the scariest section in the entire Amnesia the Dark Descent. Ugh. It sounds like electricity. I swear I hear electricity. I can just... I can almost imagine how disgusting this place smells like. Piles of shit. Steaming. It sounds like there's something alive down there. Yeah. Is it following me? Hmm. Well, Slew's Gate One. Let's get this thing open. I can 
hear it shuffling. Oh, it's right around the corner. I have to go. I have to go. There's no other place for me to go. That's oh, echoing. It's echoing down these corridors. Ah, oh, damn it, where is it? Oh god, oh no, 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 I get to choose. It sounds like it's coming from there. So naturally, I'd want to head in the other direction. But... I'm just gonna take a peek. Oh! I immediately regret doing that. It's moving away. It was moving away. Oh god. This is a maze. Sluice Gate 2. Oh god. Yep, 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 that is a water monster. Only it seems to be changed a bit. Now it's electrical. For some reason. Oh god. Alright, this way. Okay. A sanctuary. What does this do? This connects to stuff? I don't know, I guess I'll turn that in a second, but... Uh, let me read this stuff first. Oh wow, I've gone down that far. Okay. What, no phone call for me? August 1st, 1899. Several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no chelm, and I am no... El I don't know how to pronounce it. Eli... whatever. At least, not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and fetid, they become overheated and their duality tears them asunder as the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters. They live sporadically torn from one, one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world. Then they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected areas sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now. The abode of failed experiments. Ghosts of fear and spite. I wonder if he's talking about the water monster things. Or if there's something even worse than them. These are damned places now, the abode of failed experiments. Ghosts of fear and spite. Alright, let's see what this does. Ah! Oh, now there's a phone call. We? Who's we? Back 
into the tunnels. Oh, let's go back to Sluice 1. Wait, that's open. Oh, that wasn't open before. Oh, shit. Do I go down there or do I follow where I heard the pig noises from? I'm going to follow where I heard the pig noises from. Just to see what's here. Oh. Okay. That is actually comforting. God. Now that this place has been drained. Just shit water. Everywhere. Just the remnants of it. Is seriously disgusting. Just piles of feces floating. Oh, I see. I've got to go to the other side. I have a sinking feeling, everyone. I have a feeling. What if this walkway broke? What if those stinking piles of fecal matter that are floating aren't just for show? What if I need to jump on them? If I do fall, where am I going to go to get out? I don't want to go across this. Shit. Okay. One, two, three, go. Oh. Okay. 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 What is a gramophone doing here? But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Anderson, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you were embarked upon this course, does he show your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Like pigs to truffles. A very appropriate comparison. That damn pig again. Somewhere down the hallway. <sighs> and I have to go there. It's like it's taunting me. Listen to it shuffle away. 
lock shutting the door behind it. February 17th, 1899. And I said, Look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, Yes, Daddy. Yes, we see it. A tall, weathered cap of a steep-sided pyramid, so like those of Egypt. Stone falling away from the summit, vines crawling about intertwining the stucco serpents that thr thrive about the steps. A palpable sense of stillness, a weight of forgotten. In this, here, this is where the kings sat. And this is where the priests lived. This house, this is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. No, my darlings, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads and they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether. Or perhaps their tragedy was they could simply not spill uh, blood enough to prevent the sky from falling in upon them. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They just couldn't kill enough. Mandist? Post Diluvian? I don't even know what that means. That's done it. Now I can enter the strange decontamination chamber once again and move inwards. Onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way to the bilge clear, where I can divert the remainder of this filthy torrent back into the... Wait, wait, wait. How do I pronounce that? I wrote it down. Thames. See? I got it. I didn't remember it, but I wrote it down. Back into the Thames where it belongs and clear the path to the center of the machine. It occurs to me that I'm not very high above that thing. In fact, it seems like its arms could practically reach me. Assuming it's of humanoid, normal humanoid height. Another decontamination chamber. Alright. Come on. Oh, oh, right, I need to do this first. There we go. Say. I have to say, I'm highly suspicious of this decontamination chamber. I have a feeling it might be doing more than just decontaminating, or maybe it's not even decontaminating to begin with. Yeah, that's music. The hell is that coming from? Oh. I see there's a pecking order. It was like they formed their own society. Their own social classes, maybe? Dear God.
They are disgusting. But I feel bad for them. They didn't ask for this. God. What I what are they are those human corpses? A nest of wretches. Dear God, a whole nest of these foul creatures. No mind. My instincts have drawn me thus far, and I am sure somewhere in this dang complex is a means of further descent. I will not see their faces as they go by their dark business. And yet. And yet. I watch them sleep and eat and play, and they are so very human, so very childlike. And I will not think of what I have seen, of the chairs and the cages, and I will not think of how such monsters may be sculpted. Feast for pigs. What are these? Extremely secure holding chambers? For test subjects, maybe? Remember, work together, sleep alone. Fraternizing will not be tolerated. Is this the bedchambers of the things? Oh god, do I even want to- wait, can you open these? No, just that one. Do I even want to look inside? Um... Okay. It's- It's stacking blocks. It's playing. It's playing. My children. Truly, they are my children. Look at it. it. It's scared or ashamed. I've made these twisted servants. I've made these things. Two ways to go. Uh, this was a dead end. Whoa!
What is it doing? Is it... Is it crying? Hearing is getting louder. I don't like that. Ah, <sighs> down we go. Oh god. There's a stampede of them. Hmm. Do I want to go down? I don't think I have a choice. I think this one just leads to the other side. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, can I jump it? Nope. Okay, let's keep going. They sound angered. They sound agitated. And it sounds like there's a lot of them. Either they're the ones causing the shaking, or the shaking is pissing them off and agitating them. I can't tell which. How far down am I going? Oh, here's something new. This is tile. Okay, I'm out. I'm still down here. Well, at least I'm out. Not as, if I've, not as if I've gone somewhere better, though. From tide to spine. A skin of a shroud. A stump of the bled. Old Lily is fly-blown. Old Lily is dead. And dreams of the jungle will flood through her head and light up her head. Lily, wasn't that the name of my wife? Fly-blown. Old Lily is dead. Like her rotten corpse? Jesus. Wasn't that my wife's name? Hold on, it's back at, uh... Yeah, Lily's arms are made of steel, Lily's arms are silent. The pistons are silent, the plant is at rest. For some reason he was calling the machine his wife. You know, Lily. Like the... The pistons. Or Lily's arms. Didn't, wait, didn't his wife die? Like, where was, where did I read about that? Was that his journal? Mm. Maybe found documents. Ah, God, which one, though? There's a lot of them. So wherever he's talking about... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. It's wherever he was talking about... Uh, Oh God, I can't even remember. I'm at a loss for words. Well, anyway, yes, I'm actually going to end this episode here. Okay. I hope everyone has enjoyed as much as you can enjoy a horror game. 
again, I find it very strange that, for some reason, I really want to play the game, but I really don't. Like, why do people, and I include myself in that, of course, why do people want to experience something that is extremely unpleasant? I don't know, but I'm doing it right now, so obviously I'm one of those people. Anyway, yes, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon where we will go even deeper into the machine.